back with another video. This one is going to be what sold for the week. Um, I just did a haul video. I showed some of you the things that sold, sorry, that I got. Um, that was for this week. I'm kind of a week ahead and I'm listing five items a day right now, heading into seven. And I'm also scheduling listings for Saturday and Sunday. So I am listing every day of the week, even if I'm not sitting here. So let's start with eBay sales. Um, I cleaned out my closet first and I was hoarding a bunch of items that I thrifted for over the years that I haven't worn. So these are out of season. I did not pick them up at the Goodwill, although I would have if I saw them because they would sell fast. It's warm somewhere, right? And I listed these and within a few days they sold. This was kind of how, like in my first haul, it was my own things. And then some things I found at the thrift store because there's one right by my house and they have good stuff all the time. Here's an example of good stuff all the time. This is kind of what got me back into reselling. I'd seen two Harris Tweed Blazers there and I was just like, oh, cannot leave these here. What am I supposed to do? And I was like, well, maybe you should just sell it online. And so I did. That's kind of what got me back into reselling is this blazer right here. And uh, I picked it up. It's a 46 regular herringbone, Scottish wool, Harris Tweed. Love these blazers. I sold for my full asking price plus shipping. Now it weighed two pounds so it fit in a regular envelope and um, it cost me $8.65 to ship so this was a great pickup I think I paid four dollars for this because they didn't know what they had obviously not everybody knows about these and blazers in general sell really well I've I've been um, selling these for a long time and they were my bread and butter in the past so I did say that I went through my bags and I had a lot of bags. I got a Harley Davidson backpack a long time ago that I just never listed. I don't know why. And here I listed it. I have been accepting best offers. I've been using best offer on eBay because Poshmark does it. And I'm watching a seller that I'm learning from. She sells like $5,000 a week. And she's teaching me all about different ways that I could do it now versus how I did it back then. And I really like the best offer because people engage with those. And so I did accept a best offer of $31.95, I think. And I did have to cover some of the shipping because, so I messed up a little bit because it had to go in a medium flat rate box. And those are $14.75, $15 now. When I was doing it, it was only $12.50, so it's gone up a lot in the last few years that I haven't been selling online. So this was a great sale. Um, also on season, on trend, Garnet Hill, Garnet. Garnet Hill, it's cashmere. I always pick up cashmere. Most of the time I'm doing fabrics and brands together. So if this was, I would pick any cashmere sweater up that has a brand. Even if it's apartment nine, I, I have an apartment nine cashmere sweater sitting in my store and I probably shouldn't have picked it up for the $4 because it, it won't sell that fast if it's not a brand. But this full price, I was experimenting with free shipping and I don't want to do that because People like to send best offers, and if you accept a best offer, then you have to pay for the shipping with that. So you're taking a loss, or I would feel like I was taking a loss. So I stopped doing free shipping in my store, and now I'm just accepting best offers instead. And I think that people like that more. They engage more with it. So that's good. Um, I emptied out my bin of purses. Here's one of my favorite purses to collect and sell, a fossil crossbody bag. They're everywhere. People love these. They're like the equivalent of you know, Michael Kors in a way, but they're more affordable and they're durable, beautiful bags. This was um, sold fast for best offer. I was kind of sad when she only wanted to pay $25 for it because this is a $60 purse and it's in such good condition. But that's how people feel about coach too. They don't want to pay for it anymore. They just want to give you $20 for a coach bag. And it's like, okay, you can't get this anywhere for less than 150. So these retail for about $80, the fossil bags. So winter items, I love these men's items. I, I sell a lot of men's clothes. Um, this is a Blarney Mills fisherman sweater, cable knit fisherman sweater. I've never sold this specific brand before, but this is a sweater that goes all day, every day. I did accept a $39 best offer price and it shipped, it was only two pounds, believe it or not. Kind of lightweight, but heavy wool, heavy, heavy wool. Um, so it shipped for eight sixty nine, two pounds, and I best offer accepted. I wish they showed you what you accepted it for. It's so weird. I'm pretty sure it was thirty five. I wanted forty at least for it because, but I have to get, I have to move stuff and not just say, well, I needed that five dollars for the item. I'd rather just move it, and go get another sweater because my favorite part is sourcing. So I don't want to get bogged down in inventory. 
So I also got this Brooks Brothers lambs cashmere, lambs wool cashmere together thing, whatever, <laughs> my words. And it has a little notch out of the collar right here and it's still sold for a best offer price of $21.95. This particular sweater was only half off $2.99, so I bought it, but that just lowers my other price per items to $5. So everything usually is about four to $5 an item. And I just love, I couldn't leave it behind. I was like, oh, I need this. I need to sell this. It's like important to me to sell men's clothes. I don't know why. But it had a small flat neckline and I said that and they were fine with it. They still bought it on a best offer. Notice how many best offers I'm accepting. So that's a lot. Um, here we are with the career pumps. These sold, I have to ship them out today. They sold within a few days of listing. Even though it's winter time, people are still needing, women have to wear these to work every day or like in certain um, venues like at work. Just like men have to wear suits just to work at the bank. Like a suit every day of the week. That's a lot of suits, right? So these career pumps sell really well. These are Banana Republic. You can get them in Nine West, Calvin Klein, and Klein. All those different kind of like higher end Macy's brands will sell or like Dillard's, you know. That's all day, every day. Kind of like these Franco Sarto sandals. I knew these were going to sell because of the look and the style and the condition. That's why I kept them. And so when I sold them, I was like, yep, those went fast. And people are willing to pay shipping, you guys. It's not about free shipping anymore. It's like everybody has to pay shipping. I mean, you know, Amazon is like free sometimes and stuff, but people are still paying for shipping. And it's, it's okay. People are willing to do that. All right, so that's what sold on eBay um, this last few days, last seven days or so. And then uh, let's go to Poshmark and see if we can get, let's see if we can get this to work. I made a video before and it didn't record my voice. And so now I'm just like, ugh, trying to, trying to do this with, trying to do it over again. So over on Poshmark, I sold a lot of purses. That was one of my best things is I, I emptied out my purse bin and just started listing and I had about 25 items for the first week of my own things. I had a bunch of free people sweaters and stuff. So Vince Camuto handbag sold for $33. I wished I would have gotten 40 for it, but I wanted to move it. The Hammett bag that I sold. Um, the order details are so weird or else I'd show it to you like this, but I don't like that page. So the Hammett bag I got 98 bucks for and I listed it in one day. It sold the same day. Same with these Bruno Canelli shoes. Italian shoes, man, I tell you, some of them sell really well. Coach purse, another one. This is a small satchel. This is a probably discontinued summer bag, but it sold right away when I listed it. So you'd be surprised at how much people are looking for things when it's not actually summer right now. Um, again, sweater, sweater, sweater. So uh, I saw, well, sorry. I sold the cashmere sweater over on eBay. And over here, I sold a smart wool sweater, which was in my own closet. <laughs> And I'm actually allergic to wool. I can only wear cashmere. So I have to sell all the smart wool. And I have a few great pieces. So uh, this Polo Ralph Lauren sweater sold for $30. It's cashmere. I was very excited to find this because it was just sitting right there for $4.99. Sometimes the Goodwill doesn't know what they have. I bought this along with the Fisherman sweater in the same trip. So I got two sweaters that I sold for you know, nearly $40 a piece. That's a good return on investment. And I'm not doing free shipping. So when I say that that's what they sold for, that's easier for me to understand and figure out now. And I don't have to worry so much about like taking a loss with the free shipping, which I always did free shipping before. And I mean, I used to spend a thousand dollars a month on shipping. So that's a luxury that I don't really feel I can afford anymore. And uh, the Umaji cape sweater, I found from another seller that these poncho comfy oversized cowl neck sweaters are super popular. And this is this one sold on a best offer price to 15. She lowballed me for 12. I said 20. Then she came back with 15. I just sold it to her because I want to move stuff and I want to be able to go every week to the Goodwill or the Ark and shop and not just be bogged down by inventory because there's good things everywhere. It doesn't really matter. I mean, certainly I wouldn't have sold this Ralph Lauren cashmere sweater for 15 but sometimes I can let things go for a little cheaper because I'm not too worried about it. The Vera Bradley backpack sold yesterday. That was a good one. Um, don't forget to look in the backpack sections, especially men's backpacks. I found a Thule backpack I have to sell, the Harley Davidson one, the Vera Bradley one. And men's leather business bags do really, really well. So if you're a man watching this, don't think to not go in the bag section or the luggage section. Check the belts. Check the ties. There's still really good stuff in those sections and they're 
I would say for the most part, not picked over. The suits, the blazers and suits are the one thing that's not picked over in the thrift store. And I can use, I found a Harris Tweed at this week. So I'm going to sell another Harris Tweed this week. So they're out there if you're paying attention. Okay, guys, I think that's it for today. I'm going to ship off these pumps. I'm going to ship off the backpack. And then we're going to continue on. And I'll do another haul video next week. And then we'll do another what sold after that. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.